Can you all hear me? I don't know why I have to have this struggle with my headset. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Please put a one in the chat. Awesome. Yay. Had to switch headsets because, yes. How is everybody? <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. <sighs> oh, old faithful headset coming through. Oh, my. Look at everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so I spoke to a a few of you earlier, but I'll go back to the list because, you know, hey, I got a little time. Hey, Church Nelly channel member. Hey, Ursula, Rosa, Lydia, channel member. Sis, my Elise, um, Sarah, channel member. Diane, channel member. Who else do we have here? Hey, Black Queen, how you doing? Gwendolyn, how you doing? I'm gonna say, hey, Carol, Carol R. I think there's a few Carols that do come through, so you'll be Carol R. Annie, 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 channel member, and AKA squad bartender. Hey, Anna, how are you? I hope you're well. Um, who else? Who else do we have? Hey, the stock explorer. How you doing? I hope you're well. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Carolyn. We'll say that. <laughs> hey, Tia. Sylvia. Beverly. Hey, Nelly. Denise. Helen. Let's see who else. Valerie, channel member. Life's magical journey. How are you? Denise. Spottom. Is that you? How you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's see. I hope I have not missed anybody. Oh, Callie Jean, Dwayne, Lottie. Um, Elizabeth, wow. Cookies and cream, channel member. How you doing, AKA manager? Um, I think I've got everybody so far. Hey, Kat, how are you? Yeah, you know, headset issues. Clara, how you doing? Cece, how you doing? KR, how are you? All right, so. Hello, hello. Let me just go through a few more. Um, NG, I'm going to call you NG. I hope you don't take offense, but I don't like butchering names. So, um, Lily, let me see who else. V, any, Marshar. <laughs> the spot, I'm got to love you. <laughs> I was like, and I can't even read the name because uh, it's that tiny, but. You know, you are, you are. I'm glad you're here. Um, I'm glad everybody's here. So hello, everybody. Um, I have some background music. I know some of y'all said you don't really need the background music. I'm going to try to find some soothing, calming, you know, easygoing, although you said my voice is enough. But I want to get into... Um, just going through all week, I've been doing uploads, just given the highlights of Invitgus and, you know, they had the closing ceremony yesterday and um, announced the new location for 2025 and what else is going on. Um, just a, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, you know, of course we have trash time because it just wouldn't be Sussex Saturday without trash time. And there's a few topics that, or a few items that'll come up in that. And, um, you know, 
it is what it is. Happy, uh, happy Saturday, right? What is this, Sarah? Beware, I'm trying to be good. Too much coffee made the cute neighbor blush. Ooh. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my. Okay, Sarah. Mm-hmm. We see how you do. Mm-hmm. Hey, YOLO, you only live once, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to go through and highlight over the week um, some of the items that I just thought I wanted to highlight. And then um, we'll have our little chat. I think I'll breeze through everything, you know how I do, because otherwise I'll get lost in the comments and we may never, (laughs) I may never catch up. So how I like to start out, disclaimer. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act, 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. So, yes, this video was made for entertainment purposes and is transformative in nature. Mm -hmm. I don't know how who's transforming, but we're going to transform somebody, right? My favorite quote of Harry and Megan, each of us can change our communities. All of us can change the world. So did you all enjoy this week? Was it all that you thought it would be? I know for me, it was awesome to see the highlights. I would love to see it televised um, just to give truly give those athletes their just due so that's just my thing that i've i've said before and i really would love to see um espn hello espn knock 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 espn if you're out there can you please televise on a large scale as this is like the Olympics for these veterans and it's worth airing on um, a larger scale. So, all right. That's my, you know, PSA for getting them. So I'm just going to start out again. I was, I was rooting for everybody, but truly team us is, you know, of course where the heart lies. Um, I, always love this because it is of the countries participating and um yeah it's just pretty cool so again i'm just gonna highlight not really giving any explanation you've seen most of these pictures um but it's just one of those things that you know some of the highlights the kiss that was seen around world Megan and Harry at the opening ceremony. This is Harry giving his interview. Well, those children are very talented and um, very well spoken, by the way. Taking a ride. They said when in, uh, when in Holland, right? I think it's kind of cool. And you'll see these, the bikes come into play at the end of the all the slides that I have. Um, yeah, so it's just pretty neat. That's the Mr. and Mrs. Cheering on and hugging and supporting. This athlete here, phenomenal, phenomenal. One arm. And so those of us with are able body and have all our limbs and yeah, I could get on a, a tangent, but I'm going to behave myself. This was a little reading moment and um, Megan is by the window in case you're wondering why I'm showing this, but it is about families, these games. So yeah, very important. I would love to see this. I I like basketball. And so to see the wheelchair basketball, that would be pretty cool. Um, Volleyball. Harry again. And this was the U.S. presidential 
um, contingent or entourage or what's the the right word I, I that escapes me but that was the group that came to support the athletes i think most countries i won't say one in particular sent people that represented and just gave encouragement to their athletes but nevertheless let's move on here's some scenes and this had to be very emotional to everybody just giving a standing ovation to them um and even before the games began so yeah um there were some headlines that were written in some tabloids that i'm aware of that indicated that the royals there were going to snub the games and snub harry um the king is in the light jacket for those that aren't aware. So, mm -hmm, yeah, some snub, huh? And this was towards the end of the week and the pictures. And then as you will see there, there's the king doing a little something extra. And as they're getting close to the closing ceremony. And during that, the flag from the Netherlands got passed on to now what is Germany in 2023. So I thought that was pretty cool to see. Um, the King of Netherlands congratulated all the medal winners. And I think that is just awesome. Um, this was special. There was a video. Um, I am not going to i don't think i pulled it across i may have let me just let me double check and make sure oh yeah i did here it is i'm gonna i'm gonna play this for you hopefully i don't get a copyright claim to afghanistan jordan and new zealand we miss you we wish you were here and we'll see you soon Okay, so I thought that was really special since there are members of their community that were not there, but they were letting them know we're thinking about you. And I really thought that was really cool with Harry. Now, I do want to show this before I finish out the other, the other slides. This to me was like the most fantastic moment. <laughs> on a finish within the game. That is one of the finishes of the Invictus Games. Absolutely remarkable finish. So, um, yeah, that was a remarkable finish. Team USA um, did win that race, it was declared. So um, here are a few little items that still finishing out. It, it just, to see the crowds that were there, um, and you'll see shortly the number of people that they say did attend the games. It's quite remarkable. I don't see how anyone in their right mind could have been pushing hate towards these games. It just doesn't make any sense because it's it's just much bigger than some of us can comprehend. Um, some of the athletes have visible injuries and some do not. Mental injuries go very very um deeply and my understanding is that the athletes once they leave or as the games have concluded they do go into a semi-isolation therapy in order to then come back home and truly kind of decompress so it gives them a chance to decompress and then they go home I wasn't sure how true that was, but if it is, that's that's an awesome um, way of wrapping, truly wrapping up the game. So the games are very emotional and you see that they do put their heart into 
it. So um, they said it's very beautiful there. So maybe one day I'll get to Europe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, let me just see. Okay, so this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Give you a chance to read. This was truly, and here are the pictures larger. Look at the crowds. Look at that. The athletes around the globe. It's just awesome to see. And then being cheered on, not only by family and friends in the stands, but also their fellow athletes. So, yeah. And while there is a winner ultimately in the game, I think all of them are winners. So this was awesome to see. So those were a few highlights. And as a parting gift, they all received this from the foundation. And I think that's just awesome. Again, there's a little video, but I'll just show. Oh, and 2025, the games will be in Vancouver. Someone mentioned, I think it was last week, um, that they hoped it would be in Canada. So you got your wish. And they're going to have a lot of awesome sports. There's the dates that I will start adding into the Sussex Saturday descriptions. Um, now, the one sport of all of them that really entices me is curling. For those that don't know, I love that sport. Became a fan during the Winter Olympics, several Olympics ago. But yeah, I look forward to seeing that. I don't know if I'll be going or not. But anyway, so as I said about the bikes, this is the bikes of the competitors headed off to Germany. I think that's pretty cool. So, yeah. And it'll be three days. Can you imagine three days? Uh, we'll just go from Holland you know, to the Netherlands to, um, to Germany. That's one of the good things about, um, I will say Europe in a sense, well, let me be quiet. All right. Um, I'm going to wait and then jump into comments. I just want to go through Squatty Corner and then I'm going to pop in and then we'll get into trash time. <laughs> and um, yeah, go from there. So Squatty Corner. And I shared this, but this picture was taken by a Squatty. There were several that did meet. <laughs> Harry and it's a funny video that I saw on Twitter this morning where one is screaming, take a picture, take the picture, take the picture. So they were very excited. And even during the closing ceremony, just before he was announced, his name was announced, someone screamed, love you, Harry. So yeah, only the squad making themselves known as only we would do. So I thought that was pretty cool. And this speaks volumes. I put it under Squatty Corner because it's just a positive thing. And um, Royal Suter is a Squatty. But um, that's amazing number to see that nearly 100,000 visited the games in The Hague. So 500 participants from 20 countries took part. Awesome. All the headlines that try to say otherwise, just remember, it's it was a success. It was a success. So kudos to not just Prince Harry, but to the entire team that works tirelessly to ensure that the games things flow smoothly, et cetera, you know, and that the athletes that come in, their families are greeted, 
are welcomed or cared for even while they're there. So bravo, bravo, bravo. All right. Now I'm going to jump into, I see there's a whole lot of comments, so I'll probably have to skip through the majority of them, but I'm going to do my best. I'm not sure where I may have left off, but I'm just going to look at the time. Okay. So Hi, Miss Viv. How are you? Good morning. Hello to any facing reality. I know there's probably some others. Joan, I'm scrolling up and I can see names. So if I have towels, how you doing? Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Joan, if I didn't say hello, I think I did earlier, but I just wanted to. I see your name. Okay. Uh, Dolores, I'm going to just jump here. It's a little bit, it's like maybe eight minutes, but we'll get through these quickly. So it's really sad how the Royal family want the whole world to think Harry is mentally or mentally unfit, especially since he stepped down as a senior Royal and William and Kate is unable to use him. Yeah, it is sad. Um, Harry's not mentally unfit and for them to say that they're mental health advocates, I beg to differ. Because you wouldn't try to use anything he has said. You wouldn't try to use that he's gone to therapy. You wouldn't try to use or shame him. Given that you say you're a mental health advocate. Mm, sure you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Annie, I laughed so loud when... CS had to do his interview outside. <laughs> well, that's what he gets. First of all, he's the one that declared that in 2020 that, you know, in, I believe it was April or the end of March, because April 1st, I think they were free, clear, that um, they were never going to cover them. So that hasn't stopped. So what's the problem? Yeah, it's just, it's, it's crazy craziness. Uh, Joan, church only too early to drink for me. It's only <laughs> 11 a.m. here in New York. It's never too early. It's noon somewhere. That's what some of us say when we go for brunch. Well, it's, it's you know, it's 5 o'clock. It's noon somewhere. So mm -hmm. have a good, good one if you have one at all. Be responsible, everybody. Be responsible. Facing reality, you say you're present for class? I'm not giving class. <laughs> You're the teacher. I'm not the teacher. Um, let's see. Church Nelly, never too early. There you go. There you go. That's right. Never too early. Never too early. Um let me see, Lydia. Thank you, CC. Appreciate, but it's a major team effort to keep the trolls at bay. You know. I don't see them. So I know you, well, I do see every once in a while, I'll read a comment and by then you've zapped them to, you know, wherever. <laughs> to oh, I have a doozy that I'm going to show you in a little bit, but yeah, they get, they get a little screen time since they wanted to be famous. All right. Uh, oh, you're just saying hello there. Let's see, Annie, to all the entering to the chat, grab a drink and enjoy. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yes, that's how we do. Grab your favorite tea, coffee, spritzer, bubbly, you know, hard stuff, you know, mm -hmm, shine, whatever it is. Come in and enjoy. Let's have fun. Mm -hmm. Diane, Annie, that's just the right place for a shipwreck. He should have been excluded from covering irrelevant royals. He said he would never cover. Exactly. I mean, it's kind of hypocritical. Like, you flew to the Netherlands to cover the Invictus Games when you could have been mm -mm, at least part way of that week um, with um, Edwina and his wife. Mm -hmm. They're coming up, too. Mm -hmm. That's coming up, too. I just need to say this again to the British Royals. Stay out of the Caribbean. Just stop going. Stop going. Just stop going. You're making it worse each time. Just stop going. Okay. Moving right along. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Valerie, yes, mental injuries has many components, even more difficult to overcome. Exactly. Um, yeah. Very, very much so agreed with that. Lydia, hello, facing the I apologize, I missed you. This unexpected spring cold has me at half capacity. Oh, no. You also have been enduring. Yeah. I hope you feel better, Lydia. I hope you feel better. Um, let's see. Church and only recovering from wearing my hooker heels. <laughs> I don't know why I do this. <laughs> It's like I need to si I need to read it before I put it up on the screen because of course if I put it on the screen I have to read it then but you know that's Church Nelly, love her, mm -hmm. love her. Mm -hmm. Yes, congratulations to Canada. Ooh, yes, on um, having the hybrid. This should be very interesting to see that. But yeah, I'm kind of. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm telling you, curling, ESPN, you have got to, by 2025, have, <coughs> excuse me, have these games aired. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello. I'm not even going to try to, I'm going to say L because I'll butcher that name, but hello. Annie, Harry got choked up in his opening speech. I cried for him. Yeah. What was, I mean, you know, you've seen highlights and I know every channel has had them. Um, is there like one in particular that sticks out to you over the week? Because this has been a good week, you know. Squatties have, we've had nothing to complain about. We never really do. But um, we got to see our faves and all that fun stuff, you know. Let me see, church and leave now, but. The tag fell off my wig trying to put it back on, and I won't be able to take it back. <laughs> okay, I think you need to be flagged because you must have been indulging prior to. <laughs> What's in your coffee? What, what, what did you put in your morning coffee, Church Nelly? I just need to understand that. Okay, I'm moving along. Dolores. Lydia, I'm 68 and I followed Diana and Harry's whole life. The royal family will do any and every to try and destroy Harry and Meghan. <sighs> that last part. Just so that they can profit off of something tragic happening. That That's really what it comes down to. Um, people who allegedly have so much money, why? Why destroy them? The globe, the the it is a global thing, and I I had a screenshot, but I didn't want to. It was a response by a squatty, and I I'm mindful of um, putting too much up. But if you're on Twitter and you know Pagan, then you'll understand. But she basically said that they're working on, and I'm paraphrasing. They're working on local type ginning up the hate, but the, there's global eyes on Harry and Meghan. So basically what you're planning and you're trying to destroy them, everybody's watching you. And yet you, they still don't get it. They still don't get it. I don't, that's what mystifies me. And you still don't get it. Um, and Anna, Anna, what did you say? I hate to pedal all the way to Germany. Oh, I tell you. Well, you know, that would be a little difficult because, yeah, there's some water <laughs> that separates us from them. But uh, that would be a heck of a way. But three days, that's, yeah, that's pretty close for them. Like, I'm taking it. Hoorah to the athletes because, yeah, that couldn't be me. I'd be in trouble. Mm-mm. Diane, we show up and show out wherever we go supporting our faves. Isn't that the truth? I I still, I mean, for the squatties that met Megan and those that got the chance to meet Harry and and really engage with him a little bit. I mean, yeah, I don't know if you all would. <laughs> if I could even do the podcast, I would be like, mm, I, I have no words. I can't even talk. You, you would be like, hello, hello, is anybody there? Where'd she go? Mm-hmm. 
I'm still on cloud 2050 in another galaxy. So that would just be me. Lydia, the Laura Sims, it's so sad they, the family treat them this way. I love the update you share from Flipboard. Oh, look at that. Go squatties. Go squatties. Do your thing. Uh-huh. Um, hey, Navi, how are you? I hope you are well. Please remember, everybody, hit the thumbs up as you come in. If you haven't already, please hit it. Thank you. Yeah, he, he looked really good. The dark the, the dark blue, or was it the black shirt? Which one? When you say the dark shirt. That and the shades. Mm -hmm. Cookies and cream. The Invictus Games was a phenomenal success. It really was. It really was. So um, for the two-year delay, you know, disappointments. Thankfully, everybody was healthy to be there. Um, they seem to have whatever protocols they may have had in place. I didn't hear any discussion on that, but, you know, vid is not gone, gone. So, yeah. But um, now, Annie, Lily's walking. Archie gets his own little bike. I mean, <laughs> Dad is going to have to learn to stop telling his, you know, King Archie's and, you know, you got Lily's now. Mm -hmm. He's going to be served some cease and desist papers. Stop telling them. But we loved every second of that. And it's great to know, you know, 10 months in walking. Mm -hmm. Look out, everybody. Look out. Angela, hello, how are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? John, isn't it amazing how the gutter journalists are eating their words? They try to guess what Harry and Meghan are doing, thinking and behaving and getting it so wrong. They're gutter for even just some of the stuff, at least that one person that's on TV, how he's still on TV. And you'll see as soon as we get to trash time, it boggles my mind because what he said, he should have been taken off air pronto and never should ever see the light of a TV stage again. That's just me. That's my personal feeling. So let me see, Lottie. Harry and Megan are simply the best and may the good Lord continue to bless them. Yes. Yes. Hey, Geraldine, how are you? Um, Alita, how are you? feel like I didn't say hello to you. So hopefully I have not missed anybody, but I did skip through a whole lot of comments. I'm trying to keep up with y'all and you know how it is. Um, Clara, he went there thinking it's open session, but had to go back to England from press access pass. <laughs> That's so pathetic. <laughs> How he thought that? Come on now. He should know. Harry's involved. Please. They're going to have that thing locked down. Prudence, how are you? Happy Saturday to everybody. Blessings on this beautiful day. God has been good to our prince and family's positive vibes. Yes, very much so. Hey, Tier. Looking at the IG and its part, um, participants remind me personally of a poem by Maya Angelou, Human Family. Hmm. That right there, okay. I don't know why I'm a little emotional, but get it together, get it together, get it together. Okay, um, let's see. Joan, John, the rags are probably composing their next article of hate and rage. They can't even see straight. Oh, they are, so... Um, Diane, that was a beautiful shade of blue and perfect for Harry's complexion. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it was the blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Diane. Diane. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even reading the rest of yours. We're going to keep on moving down these comments. Yes, we are. Oh, TCC, thank you so much for the super sticker. Thank you. 
Um, yes, and you kind of, the racist British press and commenter are, are obsessing over Netflix crew being at the Invictus Games. Cookies and Cream, they are. I'm not understanding why, because mm, the proceeds from the Netflix go back to Invictus, and who is that harming? Oh, okay. Just wondering. Hey, Mama Jane, channel member! Okay. Just had to say that. I uh, don't want to miss the members as they come in. Um, okay, I'm going to jump to Lydia's favorite time. And um, so I'm going to jump to the bottom of the comments. Hello, Marjorie. How are you? All right. Now, I'll do my little sound effect, but before I get there, I wanted to just show this. Whoops, let me just take this comment off the screen, if I can find it. Oh, let me do this. Okay. And then come back over. So, better up. Tweeted this, and it was the perfect thing to see first thing this morning. Boundaries are a good thing. Now, many of us can read many different things into that. Of course, the squad, we immediately go right to the tabloids and the over-obsessive half-sibling. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, yeah, so it's that glorious time, everybody. Trash time. Beep, 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 beep. I don't feel like looking for the sound, so there you go. Let me mute for a second and call. Okay. So, first up in trash time. There is some hateful, very disturbing words that are being used by the um, UK tabloids in referring to Harry. Um, this one is about Harry, but the smirking assassin, like what in the world are these crazy bleepity bleep folks thinking by by saying this and i have to again say i don't know none of us know the relationship between him and his granny but gangsta better be stepping up to the she got it she got to get it together cuz this should have been shut down pronto I don't care that she took off from Windsor and went to Sandringham, however you say it, to her other castle, you know, um, what is it, like a three-hour ride to get away from it all, I guess to spend for her um, birthday. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and happy 96, whatever. Anyway, um, this is just so bad when a grandson in an interview and then he just mentions about looking in you know finally being able to see her seeing that she's well taken care of and has the right people around her um what's wrong with that isn't that what most of us would do to someone or enforce someone that we love to make sure that they're okay just because she's the queen don't mean that people really care about her that are in the inner circle. Because mm -hmm. I know at least two that are waiting for her to kick in the bucket. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying it's very it's very obvious. You know, yeah, they'll have tears more and more and like they did at the memorial. More and more. And, but, you know, they truly are. Now, this next person took the cake for the crazy of the week. Levin, she's crazy anyway. Um, this man is truly a racist. He needs to be off the air. Hopefully those in um, England, UK, wherever, what is it, Ofcom can report him, has reported him. Please report him if you can. Because the comments that he made, the video that I saw, 
about throw him and her, because he did say Megan too. Um, so this headline's not even, you know, correct. <laughs> but what do we expect from a tabloid? But yeah. That the family should throw Harry and Megan off the balcony if they show up to the Jubbly, which y'all, mm, okay, the Jubbly. And, um, yeah, it's disgusting. So, I, 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 I'm floored that, yeah, that's good old UK, you know. We're not a racist country. Mm-hmm. Mm, we're not a racist country. So I go back again to this tweet from Better Up. Boundaries are a good thing. When you have the press saying all of this crap, oh, he was smirking a smirking assassin. What? Or throw them off the back and you think they don't need extra protection they need a protection just to be around them family members let alone the press and and then to know that some of the met that special squad that usually does all that protecting you know are in are in the clan so to speak i guess the uk version of the clan but anyway yeah okay let me go check the comments and then i'll finish up the trash time because we haven't finished yet. No, 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 we haven't finished yet. And um, the one that suggested that they be thrown off the balcony is also the one that said that Megan was uppity. Oh, because she dares to just be a woman that's in love with a man who happened to be born a prince in a country that really is. Mm, I'll be kind because I do like some of the people that are there. Um, but it's hard <sighs> that she's uppity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I guess certain certain um, levels in that country are only for the whites. I'll say it. That's what he basically said. He better be careful the energy he puts out because, you know, mm, that's all I'm going to say. Um, hey, h and channel member. How you doing? Um, we need to tell that Jobson, who is so worried that Harry can't keep the Invictus games going because he's not a working royal. Hmm. Harry hasn't been a working royal in two years. And the Invictus games, because it's not just Harry doing everything. Harry knows how to be a leader. And those that were in his command have told the media if they would just listen, clean the wax out their ears, you know? Um, So as I had to tell a hater or troll, you'll see coming up very, very soon. He is the Invitkus Games. Like, um, have you forgotten that Harry's a vet? Anyway, you know, neither here nor there. Um, let's see. All right. I'm going to cover the last few things of trash time. And then, um, <laughs> yes, exactly. Sarah, I got your uppity. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, what is this? H and and 11 and that fool, whatever his name is. They, they are gutter. They're, they're trash. They are trash. They, they want to claim that Megan is no, they're, they're trash. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Sarah. A. Who else did I just see? Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, Christine. I'm seeing names. Hi, Ruth. I'm seeing names as I'm bouncing back and forth. So, yeah. Isn't that the truth? They are, yep, the gutter. They are trash. All right. So, I just wanted to, hey, Hilda. How you feeling, sis? Channel member. Hopefully, I haven't seen Mrs. S, but everybody, I'm just going to say this here. Little PSA. Just remember her in the prayers. She has something big coming up Tuesday, so I just want to, yes. Okay. All right. 
going back over here. So um, they were on a tour, the one in red and the dark suit. That's Edward mm -hmm, and his wife. Mm -hmm. I, I keep saying they need to stay out of stay out of the Caribbean. Maybe if I whisper it, mm, some will take heed. But this was the this was the state part of the statement released, and I'll give you all time to read it. Mm-hmm. Should I play my Jeopardy music? Mm-hmm. There's one funny part in here that someone mentioned on Twitter. And it says, and most recently from your father, the Prince of Wales. <laughs> Charles isn't Edward's father, but that's hilarious to me. Okay. I just wanted to throw that out there because I thought that the squatty that picked that up, I was like, oh my gosh, hilarious. Okay. So hopefully you've all read that. Mm -hmm, gotten a little kick, joy, jolt out of it. So. This comment came up Wednesday on the one upload that I had to take down due to a copyright claim as there was music within the Invitkus um, video clip that I had in there. I have to be careful and I have to listen to everything closely. So this was the initial reply that I saw and I'm like, hmm, okay. Wasn't sure when they were like what they were talking about, but you know, I play long. Okay. Now they seem to be upset that it's highlighting Harry and Megan. So, um, hello. They're there. Hello. The games are Harry in a sense. This is his brainchild, I guess you can call it. And it's like you did not actually read the title and watch the video. Um, it's not highlighting vets. There were highlights all throughout that. Yes, Harry's in there. Engaging with them, talking to them, whatever. So, yeah. Let me just move on. <laughs> Way to show those true colors. You know, I had time Wednesday. But I took screenshot because I was like, let me save this for one thing. Um, and it was before I, I was I took down the actual the initial video, but <sighs> so you know, we just had a convo going back and forth for a little bit. And then things turned a little left. I took screenshots to feature in this video. Mm. I don't give you permission to use any of my content. So if I get a notification from YouTube that this matches some of my content, yeah, okay, I'm coming for you. Mm -hmm. And I did report it. And, you know, of course, if I see the other name, which I think I've block that one. I don't even know, but you got to be a special kind of crazy to keep coming back to a channel and then think, oh, you know, like you scare me. You don't scare me. You don't scare me. So yeah, I just wanted to show that. For some reason, this week of coverage for the Invictus games unnerves somebody because Harry's in pictures. Well, duh the hell you think anyway let me see what some of the comments are <laughs> Ruth that's it stop pissing on our shoes and apologizing for the rain Child. Mm -mm -mm. um yeah 
It's just a head cold. Lydia, just take care of yourself. I've been battling mine for about three weeks now. Allergies, cold. It was, yeah. It's not fun. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's true. We do have some that are fighting cancer. And listen, no matter what, it's still one of those we're concerned. So just feel better. You know, when they were attacking the, basically, Invictus Games um, Foundation, they gave no, no thought to being disrespectful. It's like, how can you tout that you're, you know, I care about people and I care about the vet, but you're on ranting and raving about a vet. So no, you don't. Yeah. Well, you know, her and um, whatever his name is, because I don't remember what his name is, but Diane, if there is a voice of reason anywhere in the global media, do you think someone would raise the question about how unkept Liz has looked recently while Keeper of the Wardrobe is promoting new book? On that, I'll take a sip of tea. So, Um, given her age and everything else going on, how come um, the wardrobe person can promote a book, make money off connections, and they always try to use that as Harry, you know, against Harry? Oh, he's using that. He's a prince, or he's using his connection. Mm. Isn't it amazing? Everyone else can go make money from their, quote, connection to them. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But on this, from a serious standpoint, it's concerning, Diane, um, being a caregiver, you can see changes. If you really, really look, you can see changes in your loved one, um, regardless of the position she holds. I mean, I guess she's just like, you know, you can't tell her anything. A lot of them are like that. So, yeah. But, you know, if you're in France or you're in... Um, what country were they in? Antigua? Yeah, it's a little hard to care for someone when you're on vacation and doing a tour about a jubbly that they really need to rethink it. They really do. I mean, a, a good jubbly would be, I'm just throwing this out there, as an example, you know, maybe the royal family kicks back and gives a thousand dollars to each household or something. I'm just, or, you know, a thousand pounds. I'm just saying, they could do it. I'm sure one of their offshore accounts can handle that, right? Mm -hmm. All right, moving along. Uh, Dolores, these people understand nothing about blacks other than to clean for them. Mm. And I hope they don't have somebody, well, whew, Lord of mercy. That's so true, though, Lord of mercy. Cookies and cream, the unworld family, by stupidly letting their racist thugs publicly threaten to harm the Sussexes, who are members of the unroyal family, is only opening up Pandora's box. People are watching. Exactly. People are watching. Now, I will say about the, you know, how tone deaf they are. So... I'm taking it was the prime minister of where they were visiting, gave them a portrait, watercolor of a turtle that's native to the to the country. And them idiots gave a framed photo of themselves as a gift during the gift exchange. I didn't even bother with that one because I was just like, uh, yeah. Moving right along. Yeah, I heard that there were parts. Hey, Jocelyn, there were parts that, yeah, I guess they went home. Uh, if they just stayed home, not spend more money that shouldn't be spent on traveling, et cetera, and, and this, a PR for the jubbly, like, give me a break. Give me a break. Hey, Connie, how are you? I hope you're well. I'm glad to see you. Glad to see you. 
Diane, Megan, nor Harry never said they would live their lives of hermits. Yeah, um, it goes back to that. You keep hearing about the privacy. I saw some clips over the week from the UK media people losing their minds and oh, they wanted privacy and blah, 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 blah. That's never been what was stated. That wasn't stated. It's the narrative you push, but that wasn't stated. Nobody, not even them, want their comrades digging into their personal lives. But I'm sure those people got dirt on each other. Yeah, but, you know. Whew, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Did you? Which group chat? In here? In this one? Could be. Or in another chat. Hey, Kenneth, how are you? Um, yeah. Well, now they're known for who they are. I mean, I don't... I didn't see anything wrong with the coverage. Um, that's Harry's one. We're highlighted, but if I don't show Harry, like, what's the point? He is, if he's given a speech or if there's encouraging words, he has genuine connections with these athletes, like, knows names. So when he sees, meets them once, sees them again, he knows their name. Come on. Anyway, moving along. The deranged are going out of their minds. They are, and I'm loving it. Oh, okay. Let me do that again for you, Hilda. <sighs> oh my, oh my. Hey, JJ, how are you? Let me see. Uh, Ruth Gwynn, back in the 70s, we were radical about owning our ability to stand up in the face of massive oppression. I had an uppity woman unite t-shirt. Oh, now that would be nice. Mm-hmm. Send one to <laughs> Whew, that TV. Let me tell you that TV. Um, the guy that's on TV. I can't even think of what his name is. I don't want to know his name actually. Um, he really does not need to be on air at all, but you know, when the BBC, um, employee tweeted a picture of the monkey referring to Archie when he was born and then was fired, but then hired back. Yeah, that said all you need to know. Hey, TT, how are you? He did put him on blast. Um, they were more hurt that he did. <laughs> Hoda tried to try to rope him in. Harry, Harry knows some games. And he also knows all the stuff that she has said and done. Because Harry has said he keeps track. Mm -hmm. Keeps notes on folks. Yep. So he knows what they've said. And he he has been doing interviews for a very long time. So he already knows. Hmm, you know. So you, you don't miss no. California is home. A head's just rolled on that one. What did you think he was going to say? <laughs> no, I want to come back to the UK. I want to be used as a third wheel. And, and, you know, the doormat that, you know, you've stepped in dog poo on the sidewalk and now you're rubbing your feet on me. Yeah, that's how they treat Harry. He really wants to go back to that? Hell no. No, 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 no. Not going back, not going back, not going back. All right, H. Knight, that's not what they said nor meant. They wanted the rags to stop telling lies on them and to be able to push back and make their own decisions and do different things. That's why they left. Mm -hmm. So again, I say bravo to the one that said no to the half in, half out. Bravo. Thank you. I think every Every week, every time there is a, a live Sussex podcast, it's a supportive podcast. Excuse me, that, that that is mentioned. Thank you. Thank you to that one. You thought you were getting over? Ha ha ha. Not in the least. Okay. Megan was um, self-sufficient before she met Harry. Harry was, as he said, trapped. 
he ain't trapped no more. Mm -hmm. He was locked up and he couldn't get out, but now he is out and he's free and moving right along. Um, what is this? Annie Shutter Island needs to look up the definition of privacy and intrusion. Understand the difference between the two. Yes, but they like to do all of the crazy and then cry and moan and, and sell papers and all that stuff. Get a lot of clicks, you know, with their clickbait titles when something drastic and tragic happens to their subject of terror. Mm hmm. And they still can't believe that Megan got out and that Harry was like, I'm taking my family and we're getting up out of this, this ghetto. Mm -hmm. Hey, Chef Urban, how are you? I see Hilda's. <laughs> Hilda, you do some good cooking there. You know, let's see. We see you. You do some good cooking. Hi, Glow. How are you? The urban chef. What should I say? The urban cook. Put it, get it right. Let me get it right. Get it right. Get it right. Mm. Their lives were ruined when they kept saying he's been held hostage. He's the happiest hostage I've ever seen. Hmm. Okay. I don't, I think it's the other way around. It's the other way around. Okay, you saw Megan in that outfit. Dare I show it again? Mm -hmm. Baby's done the body good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kay! Channel member, how you doing? Hope you're well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, probably the first few minutes are, you know, silent because my headset decided to act crazy again, but I worked it out. I had old standby on, on tap. Um, Marsha, you stepped on dog poop. Yep. So now you're wiping your foot on me. And you can steal that, <laughs> Mashar. You can steal that. But that is true. How That's how they treated him. That's how they are treating him to this day. First, you're saying he's not going to come. They're not going to come. They're not coming back to the UK to see her. You know, they were hoping, I think that the media were hoping that something would happen to the queen and then they would have just. Yeah, it would have been bad. It would have been really bad, the headlines and et cetera. But, mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse me. Harry and Megan did go in and see her and look out. Ooh, look at that. Glow, we're going to have to have you as the on the ground squatty, you know, pictures, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Can you share with me mm -hmm. as you go to the different games and especially if you get a chance to say hello and meet them? Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hilda. Mm -mm -mm. Diane, if Megan wears mink <laughs> underwear, she and her highly employed husband pay for it. Nobody's business what she spends on clothes. Okay, thank you for bringing that up. I saw the typical, I don't even know which tabloid it was. I didn't click. I saw the pictures that they took a couple of her outfits and they did price tags. The jeans she owned previously. If anyone looked at Tig, you know she owned the jeans. She owned her flats. Um, her other shoes, the ones that she wore with her, like the tan outfit. Mm-hmm. Don't play with me. Megan, the 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 only I would say new outfit was the all white pantsuit mm. that she slayed us. Oh, and let me do that for you guys again. Hold on one second, please. Cause you know, it's it's only right that I do. <laughs> she came to slay, she came to slay. And succeeded. She came to slay. She came to slay. She came to slay. And succeeded.
Okay. Mm hmm. There you go. There you go. That she did. That she did. And, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> listen, listen. It's food. You make great food. Chef, cook, listen. Don't don't sell yourself short. Okay, I'm just saying. Moving right along. Mm-hmm. Um, Angela, Harry and Meghan um, want what they have now, Montecito. That, that's what you call privacy. Yeah. When they're out, they're out and about. Thankfully, we don't see much with the paps. Now, um, and I believe some of them realize just how far they'll go if you take the wrong pictures of their children, especially, and then want to sell them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially when the children are, you know, in their own private yard. So, um, hmm. they have privacy. And as she explained it, if I want you, we share what we want you to see. And that's what everybody does. That's what everybody does. Hey, City, Panna City, how are you? Joyce, how are you? What's going on? Channel member, what's going on? I hope you're well. I know, I'm acting crazy. Karen, how are you? Um, ooh, Adora, how are you? 755 Media. What's good? How you doing? I hope you're well. Mm-hmm. I hope you're well. Um, and I'm not even bringing up the mother ones, um, as you notice. So I see some comments. I'm not even reading them. Mm -mm. She did. She really did, Annie. I was there for it. You were there for it. Yes. Mm. Let's see. Adora, how she spends her hard-earned money isn't their business. A freeloader cake can wear 1949 expensive clothes. Why well, can't Megan? Exactly. I just can't wait to see what cosplay is going to try to do to match the casual looks as well as, you know, Megan's dress looks. Especially when she had on the oh, protocol breaky red lipstick. Mm-hmm which was her signature look, again, if you're familiar with the TIG. Mm. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. She's home. Joyce. Um, Monte Video protects the that neighbor will not stand for intrusion because so many famous people live there and they don't want that toxic element of tabs. Yeah, there. Well, Montecito does very well. And yes, there's a lot of well-known people that live in the area. Um, and I think on most of the roads or going to many of their homes are gated. So yeah, good luck with that. Mm -hmm. Hey, Claudia, how you doing? I hope you're well. All right. I don't have anything else. Um, I've gone through all of my little my little tidbits. But, you know, I want to say a big thank you to all of you. And um, it was fun. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself. It is, it's just about that time. You know how I do. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. I can feel a coughing spell coming. I got, you know, I got to beat this thing out of me. But um, please take care of yourself. When you're out and about, please wear a mask, regardless of what regulations say. Them people aren't going to be the ones, you know, caring for you if you happen to, you know what I mean. So be well be kind be loving stop reading the tabloids 
Don't let them make your blood boil. Um, let's remember all the squatties that are having medical um, concerns, procedures this week, and all that. Mrs. S, you're in our prayers. Hilda, Lydia, feel better. I love you all. Speak with you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.